And with me now is Dr. Bex Lewis, a research fellow in social media and online learning at Durham University and author of Raising Children in a Digital Age. Welcome to you. Um, some really worrying findings in this survey. I mean, just how do you encourage or advise preteens, teenagers to behave appropriately online, especially if there's peer pressure concerned? Um, I think a lot of it is about making sure you've got c good communication as a family. Um, so you're taking time to talk about what's okay online. I think a lot of it's about developing a culture, whether that's as a family or youth groups can do a lot to make a sense of what seems okay and what's not okay. I think a lot of the peer pressure that's happening is a maybe slightly faster, more intense version of what we all used to experience when we were younger. And um, so the more that we can look at each other and say, no, this is not okay and this is okay. At the end of the day, we're the ones that choose to press the button. So we need to exhibit good behavior and encourage our children to do the same. You've just hit the nail on the head there because it's so much more immediate. It, it's mm. out there to, you know, goodness knows how many people, if you put mm. something online, if you say something online that you later regret. Do you think uh, that in the first instance, it's actually easier or so the children think or the teenagers think to do something like this online and then they have their regrets later yeah I think um, I think it's become a certain sense that it's normal to just do this stuff fast and there's a lot of pressure to respond fast people are measured on their friendship level on whether they've responded fast enough so it then makes it very really easy. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, <laughs> okay. it's um, you're, you're not a very good friend if you don't respond very fast so there's a lot of pressure there um, and a lot of pressure to like pictures that people have posted and if you don't um, like it enough then you're not popular enough so there's a lot of pressure coming from there and then of course there's the pressure the same as I don't know what those chain letters that you used to get that so you've got that kind of thing online as well happening really fast um, are parents right to be worried about this to panic about this uh, or, or, or are we you know blowing things out of out of proportion here I don't think they should panic um, I think I mean the most effective thing they can do is learn about the internet themselves if they don't I mean a lot of parents will know um, but there's still a sense that children are digital natives and that therefore we don't know what they're doing online and we can have no say uh, so they're not <laughs> do, do parents need to be able effectively to convince their children that they know as much about social media as the children do themselves for the children to take them seriously and to take their advice <laughs> yeah maybe or even ask your children don't feel embarrassed to ask the children you know how do you do this just show an interest rather than thinking this is a scary thing you know the children were not b born knowing how to use this digital stuff they've learned how to use it because it's around um, so um, we can all learn to do that stuff and we can all learn to do it well. The, the machines are not forcing us to become machines. We are the ones who are choosing to press the buttons. Okay.